Be prepared for highly offensive language from the start, including language that may distress viewers and for adult and sexual themes. Previously, Bear sent the house into meltdown. I'm so sorry. I could get angry. Maybe he's playing a game. What the hell are you Stop talking it. about? You're being Stop such a dick. It's so vile. None of you know what that lad's capable of. I can't trust anyone there. I've got no respect for him whatsoever. You're giving it all that, mate. Nothing unites like a common enemy. I'll rip that off, that off, and I'll turn this gap over. I want to make love, not war. Tonight, Biggins leaves. Big Brother is left with no option other than to remove you from the house. And Bear's under attack. I think he's disgusting. I can't deal with Bear being disrespectful. I'll snap. Oof. He's going to get us all in trouble, right? Yeah. Sorry, Sunshine. Mate. Sorry, Bear. The housemate damned with the curse of eternal nomination is Bear. Ah. Shit's going to get real. Don't talk to me. Four rock. I really hate asshole Bear. You feel I'm bad now? Oh, my God, I can get a whole lot worse. He's a disease and he needs to get out of this house. Period. Dear 9, 10.40am. Oh. Eviction, dear. Tonight, James or Grant will be the first celebrity to be evicted from the Big Brother house. This is Big Brother. All housemates should gather on the sofas immediately. Oh, my oh, God. Shit. Stand up. Housemates, despite previous warnings, and punishments, oh, the rules regarding the discussion of nominations oh. have yet again been broken oh. by one of you. James, at 8.57 p.m., <laughs> while in the garden with most of your fellow housemates, you said... So if I have a, I have a few more days, please, all of you, if you love me, nominate me You know, again. it's against the rules to say that. Is it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. What have I done to deserve this? Furthermore, the rules of this week's shopping task uh, have also been broken yeah, by one of you. Me, 3 nil down, bitches. Last night, despite there, being had some on the bread. losing team in the shopping task <laughs> and therefore receiving only economy rations to live on, Bear and I'm doing again. my big brother consuming items from the winning team's luxury shopping delivery. <laughs> Well, I'm putting them down on my um, luxury shopping, shopping thing. Mm -hmm. I had a Coke. Want a and a Coke? chocolate spread. I've had one. Oh, I want a Burroughs. Yeah, I have. That's yours as well. Loving life. <laughs> I've had that. 3 0. Don't give a fuck. Ooh. Naughty boy. Ooh. James and Bear. Big Brother is sending you straight to jail. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> immediately to the jail in the garden. <laughs> oh. you remain until further notice. Oh. Keep your mouth shut up. Oh. Buddy, I'll have a shower. Your yeah. mouth is ready for you. Yeah. It's quite nice, actually, because you may come in for a little... Look, look, it's like a little... It's like a conservatory. I quite like it. <laughs> Why did you do that? Do what? I'm just... I'm going to bore not? <laughs> you want to be in jail? I think I was going to go in jail. <laughs> Twelve fifty nine PM James and Bear have been in jail for the past two hours and fourteen minutes. Frankie is entertaining the inmates. Yeah. Uh, is this like <coughs> like this is a this is, is a jail dance? dance? This is a jail dance. This is what happens. This should be I should be in there doing this dance, but instead yeah. I'll come through <laughs> and do it for you and give you a little cheeky kiss on the neck. That's lovely. Ricky is talking to Big Brother 
about Bear. Bear does what Bear does, and when he wants to do it and how he wants to do it, irregardless of anybody's feelings, you know, there ain't no respect there, there ain't no nothing there, so... You know, to tell you the truth, I think he's disgusting. He's a little bug, he'll have an apple and he'll throw it like that. You know, he'll have a coffee and he'll dash it like that. I've stamped out two cigarettes that he's just thrown. He says he's gonna clean it up. I have not seen that boy pick up one thing. One thing. He knew what was happening with the Nutella last night, but I told you, he does what he does. So him being in jail is, you know, it's good, but if he wants to go and do something, he's probably gonna do it. It absolutely makes no difference. It absolutely makes no difference. I got, I got a break out of prison, mate. I can't have a bacon sandwich, yeah, and a cup of tea, but yeah. Good night, nice Nanya. Are you sure you want to do this? You are the bad boy. All right. Just, uh, I'm, 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 I've uh, enjoyed the chat, OK? It's going to be emotional. It's yeah. emotional. I'm off. I might sit in here in tears. The guards may come and get you. I'll be interested to see what happens. But I'm busting out. This is Big Brother. Would Bear return to jail immediately? Wow. He's going to get us all in trouble, right? No, we're gonna he's going to get this. himself into trouble. Sometimes if one person does something wrong, the whole house can suffer. I, Sam, I honestly feel like they understand that, that's, that he's, a, he's in his own category. I hope so. Well, oh, hello, well, mate. Yeah. Just, you got any bacon? What, you, what, you fucked it off? Yeah, I've broken out of prison. <laughs> oh, no, wait, 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 wait. Come on, I'll give you that. How's it, how'd you turn this... We've got any bacon? <laughs> what, what, what's going on there, then? I had to get out of there. Did you just get out? No, look, obviously, but I just think I'm hungry, I'm starving. All right, all right, all right. Well, like I said, I'm going to make some breakfast, I'll make you some. What's the worst that's going to happen? Grab yeah. some bacon out of there. Just don't... Just get it out of your fucking one. Don't be so silly. This is Big Brother. Bear, if you do not return to the prison immediately, there will be severe consequences for the whole house. Oh, you're yeah, right, I Sam. I told you. Fuck. Oh, I'm going to go out and nag him now. Someone get him in. Bear, mate. I know he's tough in now. Go and get back in jail. I'm not the bacon sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What happened? I don't know. I've got to come back in here, right? Ooh, scary. With food. What? With food. Everyone takes it so fucking serious. What the fuck? It's gonna happen. It's gonna get back down or something. That's serious. It's... <sighs> Coming up, Biggins is out. Big Brother is left with no option other than to remove you from the house. Do you have anything to say? I'm very sorry and I'm very sad. Be prepared for highly offensive language that may distress viewers and for adult and sexual themes. <laughs> 2 24 pm. Big Brother has released James and Bear oh, from jail. Yeah, I love it. Quite Sweet, perfect. I love it, mate. Yeah. Katie has a question for Heavy D. Remind me of your name, name again. Colin. Colin. Yeah. Your real name is Colin? Yeah. I like Colin. Biggins is talking about the history of the gear community. Gays had been really badly treated, and then suddenly came a period where gay people were respected. And you know they could go out there. You could do things. You could, and then suddenly, was this... there a different? Was there a kind of a difference overnight? Was there a palpable no, difference? No, I wouldn't or say overnight. Sort of... no. But it, it, the difference happened, and then a killer disease came, which was attributed to homosexuals. Called grid. You still believe that it it's really was a homosexual disease? You don't no, know because called... I tell you, it's, I don't believe it was. I think it was a bisexual a disease. Syndrome. If I'm going to be honest, because a guy. AIDS. Went Grit. to Africa. Because I'm going to tell you a story afterwards that somebody that worked in the CIA told well, us. Well, th they gave it to kill off eight uh, gays? They gave it to kill off third world countries. Uh, but that, that I think, is it right. It was a I disease think... that came... Man-made. Man-made. It man -made. was a disease. It was man -made. Okay, according to this you man... You believe that? Yeah. Do you? According I to do. this man who, really? who worked yeah. for the CIA, no names mentioned, um, he, he, he used to come by my house... Um, and visit, and he told us this story about that it was, and the reason he was telling us because he was working on a movie, that it was to be for third world countries to s make them smaller, get rid of them, and then it started coming over here. And what they didn't realize, and I think that they didn't know what they've done, 
as and, usual, and, then and they what, had to blame it on somebody. And what they didn't realize that there were a lot of bisexuals who went to those countries yeah. and had sex with those people yeah. and then brought it back to their own families yeah. in America. Oh, really? So that's how it became such a worldwide disease. And they, they, so what happened was the government, whoever instigated it, fucked, fucked up us. big time. Fucked yeah. us. Yeah. <laughs> For 15 p.m., Marnie has got a question for Lewis. Have you ever gotten horny yet? When I woke up in the morning, when first, the first night we sat together, and I jumped up, I yeah. jumped up to, in my briefs, I was like, oi, oi, there he is. <laughs> missed ya, missed ya, boy. <laughs> have you had a wank since you've been here? No. Have you? No. Um... I see you in the shower last night. <laughs> I see you in the shower, your toes going up. I can see your toes going like that up last night. Good <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, I'm Grant is talking to Biggins about living in the Big Brother house. I've just become really analytical of my actions and my words. Yeah. So well, I've made three easy? mistakes in here, so I've been chastised, so I now am very aware careful. of that. Careful. It's a, mi it a mindfuck, basically. Mm. And, of course, the thing is that, you know, as you, as you relax, it gets worse. Yeah. Because you think you can, you know, you're at home. Mm. Well, it can get worse in here. Yeah. Over the next few days, and because yeah, the the the, the kids all assume power. Because one of the me and James are regarded in, as being one of the older people here. And me. And, yes, but the older team has lost a member today. Yes. Whatever happens. Absolutely. I think they'll just get a bit cockier. Yeah. <laughs> Did I feel tingly when I touched your nipples? She was thinking he's sitting on the fucking floor. Are you legs flat? What's going on there? Fucking hell! What's going on? What's going on? Is that a fucking con sutra? What the fuck? Fuck it, that was on for two minutes. And you two having a fucking con sutra? Fuck's sake! <laughs> Above the hip bones. Oh, uh, as long as you're having fun. Take him under. Yeah. Ready? <laughs> oh, I thought that was you. No. Oh. <laughs> was it good? Mm. Really good. We smell nice at least <laughs> now. Looking. What do you mean at least? Just looking. Oh, God, I can feel it. <laughs> what a turn on. <laughs> oh, mate. I fucking love that. Oh, God. <laughs> Five twelve PM. Rene is reflecting on being in the house. And in no circumstances would I put myself in a situation ever again to be in this type of situation. I don't have the mental capacity for 15 people. No. It's difficult. It is difficult. I don't have that. Like, I can deal with, I can deal with my drama left, right, and center compared to this. I, I mean, it's just like, no disrespect, and I'm not talking about you. You think you're so young and beautiful, and I'm not talking about you. But it was, uh, You're going to do anything, anything for that fucking camera time. Whatever Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, Under no circumstances so would I even remotely yeah, pay attention to that. Yeah, what are you talking about? I'm, I'm talking about the level of ignorance. The level of ignorance. Just the things that some people will do just for, 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 for 15 seconds. Literally. I, it's because do people realize, Biggins, that in life it's 15 seconds? It's not a life. I mean, you're, luckily, you, it's a lifetime. But the average person that does it, it's not a lifetime. You're right. I don't know. That's just me. Big Brother has called Lewis to the diary room. Lewis, as you know, Big Brother does constantly monitor the activities of housemates. Yes. And endeavours to ensure that particularly when groups develop, yes. no housemate feels singled out or ridiculed or humiliated well, okay. by the actions or behaviour of other housemates. Well, OK. Over the last few days, you and other housemates suggested and encouraged a number of dares, yes. the effect of which were likely to make particular housemates feel uncomfortable or humiliated for the entertainment of others. Well, OK. 
You should remember that conduct which has the effect of making a fellow housemate feel compelled to behave in certain ways could be considered bullying or isolating. Absolutely, big brother. No, I totally agree. Um, you know, it's been spoken about amongst the groups. Um, I appreciate big brother, you know, has the final word. Um, it's something that I think we've, we've, we've all taken note of along the way. I know it wasn't our intention to... Uh, Make anyone feel singled out and bullied, and in fact, the the, the, the you know the, the person who felt most insulted, Syra, um, is someone who I've become very close with over the past few days. So I, I totally accept what you're saying, Big Brother. Um, yeah, lesson learned. Rene is cheering herself up with a game of charades. Oh, you got to tell me something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rene, you you can choose it. You can choose it. Okay. I don't know. Oh, think of something you're comfortable with. Like, if, oh, you do, do something um, gangsterous. That'd be fun. Oh, that would be easy. So, dumb and dumber. That's quite difficult, isn't it? <laughs> oh, my God. Really? <laughs> no, no, no. No, it isn't. Oh, no, no, no. Time out. Time out. Am I allowed to use props? Please. Please. Yes. Prop. No. Let's use it. Let's use it. Okay. What is it? No, no, what was it? It's a film. Right? Two. Two words. No, 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 actually. You can't it's talk. A, okay, I gotta think. No, it's three, it's three words. Three, three words. words. Right. <laughs> I'm, sc I'm sorry. Five Can words. I borrow you two for two seconds? What? I need Dumb you and for dumber. A game. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? What was that? Dumb and Seven or five p.m. Begins has been called to the diary room. Hi, Big Brother. Hello, Biggins. Before you entered the Big Brother house, the rules regarding unacceptable language and behaviour were explained to you. Yes. Big Brother has spoken to you before about some of the unacceptable language you've used since you've been in the house. You were told that your language was unacceptable and you told Big Brother you understood and would not use such language. Yes. On Monday, in a conversation with Katie, where she remarked that she was not in the house to represent the Jewish community, your comment was plainly capable of causing offence to Katie and the viewing public. Yes. Big Brother spoke to you about your language. Yes. When Big Brother pointed out to you that your language was capable of great offence, you apologised and indicated you understood the seriousness of the situation. I did but you've continued to use unacceptable language. In a conversation with Renee, you said, I think the worst type, though, I'm afraid to say, is the bisexuals. You went on to say, what it is is people not wanting to admit they are gay. Today, at 2.25pm, in a conversation with Renee and others, you again used unacceptable language regarding bisexuality. Talking about AIDS, you said, I think it was a bisexual disease. You then went on to say, there were a lot of bisexuals who went to those countries and had sex with those people and then brought it back to their own families in America. So that's how it became such a worldwide disease. Biggins, due to your continued use of unacceptable language in the house, which is capable of causing widespread offence, Big Brother is left with no option other than to remove you from the house. Do you have anything to say? I'm very sorry and I'm very sad. Biggins, you may now leave the diary room via the door to your left. Big Brother has gathered the housemates. This is Big Brother. Housemates. Biggins has been removed from the Big Brother house and will not be returning. What? Why? Shh, sit down. Sure. Oh, oh my this God. Help? The storeroom is now open for one housemate to collect Biggin's suitcase. Are you? Are Would you one housemate collect the suitcase, pack Biggin's it. belongings, and return it to well, the storeroom? What What the hell's he no. done? He's got the up with your cooking. So much for that. Isn't he? He's black and white. He's black and white. Maybe he's sick. Okay, but maybe no. he's not Ricky, sick. Could we you want to give me a hand? Yeah, absolutely. He's not sick. Yeah, he's all right. Who cares anyway, man? So far. Nah, mate, I do care. I don't, not really. Oh, man, Mr Biggs. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm going to pray for you. Oh, I can't believe it. I'm upset. 
This is not on, man. I'm so upset. This is not right. No. This is not right. Come here. It's all right. It's okay. Not. Oh, no, don't. It's all right. It's okay. Come on. Coming up there with a sore head. I don't care. Like, anyone who voted for me, just don't talk to me for the whole duration I'm here. It's as straightforward as that. <laughs> Be prepared for highly offensive language. <laughs> 10 17 pm. Big Brother has gathered the housemates. Good luck, guys. Yeah. Good luck, James, mate. Good luck, guys. Good luck, Grant, my friend. Good See you on the Let other me side. See those deuces eh? up. Deuces. Keep going, Evan. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> This is up! This is up! Let me see those deuces up! Deuces! Deuces! Shut him up before I stick one on him. Oh, keep going, mate. I didn't hear it the first time. Keep going with it. Let's keep get rolling on with it. Fuck it. Deuces keep rolling. up! Deuces, deuces up! Mate. Let me see If he quieted down, up. I'd be a lot better, deuces. but yeah. Yeah, listen, can you let these boys deuces. fucking relax, please, mate? I like something. Now, can you just let these boys relax, Why? please? Please, I'm asking you. As, a, as a friend, listen, as a friend, <laughs> can I... You. Look, all right, listen, what? I'm just asking. Can you just respect the process these boys it's are going nice through? This, this is one of their last moments in the wonderful. house. This is one of their last moments in the house. The last thing they want to remember walking out this house is you singing deuces, mate. <laughs> Excellent. Thanks very much. Yeah. Who put you in charge? <laughs> Moral code put me in charge on that one, oh, mate. Oh, 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 oh. Deuces. Oh, here we, here we fucking go. Oh, I don't want to hear anything. Good luck, buddy. Good luck, James. Celebrity Big Brother House, this is Emma. Oh, get one out. That's good, I like that. Grant. I can now reveal the housemate with the fewest votes and first to be evicted is... First as well. Grant. Oh. Well, there you go. Grant, you have lost your place in the celebrity mm. big brother Thank house. You. Please say your goodbyes. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Give them help. Oh, too good. Take oh, my... Okay, take care. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, take care. All right. I've loved it, I've loved it. I've loved it. Grant, you have been evicted. Okay, okay, Please leave the celebrity. Take care, well done. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. okay, take care, guys. Go, Grant! Okay. Feel right, mate. Take care. See you later, mate. See you mate. Love you. Hey! Go, Chibo! 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 That's fucked up. Why would that's you do this? That's nuts. That's that nuts. That's nuts. awful, man. No, no, no it's part of the like. game. I know that you didn't deserve it at all. Oh, I'm devastated for him. Ten thirty-seven p.m. It's been 20 minutes since Grant was evicted. Here we go, shit's gonna get real. This is Big Brother. Shortly, you will each vote for the one housemate you wish to be damned with the curse of eternal nomination. Whoever receives the most votes will face every eviction there is for the rest of their time in the house. Ruthless. Housemates, your time is up. Syra, stand up. Wow, oh, God. Turn your board over and name the housemate you have chosen. Really sorry. Um, Heavy D. Oh. Oh. Heavy D. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. There. Yeah, like, right now. <laughs> that would have worked, I'm obvious. 
Okay. No, I'm really sorry, and you know that I really hate this. Oh, tag team, got it early. Love it. She got the claws in, babe. Don't it's what it is. The claws have got in. Poisoned. Sorry, sunshine, man. <laughs> Right to the Fred, sit down. Cool. Marnie, it's your turn. <laughs> Sorry, how are you doing? That's all right, I oh, yeah. oh. Yeah, get juicy. Oh. We get saucy. I got Sorry, man. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Renna, you're next. Oh. Sorry, Sarah. Oh. Still feel free. Oh. Why free? Why free? <laughs> I said this because he sleeps next to me and he keeps snoring. Yeah! Still quite oh. four, still quite four. Sorry. That's all right, babe. It's all right. It's all right. I'm still in the lead. Sorry, brother. Six four! Boom! I got the vibe though. I've got the vibe, right. mate. Everyone gets a vibe, right? <laughs> you said you wanted to go up him. Oh, oh you're sweet. Huh. You are sweet, thank you. No, mate, but I'm excited, man. Fair, the thing stand is, up and you, give your choice now. Is, right, you feel I'm bad now? Oh, my God, I can get a yeah. whole lot worse. Fair, oh, stand up yeah. and give your the choice saying, now. The same. Audrey, like, come on. But for you, mate, it's surprising. I'll be honest with you, but it is what it is. Do I have to take Listen, it Listen. Just saying. Just saying. It's all right. Not bothered. Cool. I'm excited. This is Big Brother. <laughs> the housemate damned with the curse of eternal nomination is Bear. Listen to the cheers. Listen to the cheers. I don't give a fuck. Cheers, big cheers, no, the thing boy. is, right, with me, I get you. it, but I can be a whole lot fucking worse. You got my annoying now, guys. Great. Yeah. 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 Shit's gonna get serious. Just say your nomination. You said you wanted to play the game. It's a game. What are you getting upset for? Now here's your chance. I'm excited. That's good. Good. It's good. I had to do it. You know, and I'm not. Sorry. Yeah. It's fucking bullshit. I ain't bullshit. Do you Did you know do you Don't touch why? me. Do you don't touch me. Why? I'm not like coming to touch you. Jeez, mate. I'm just. What? I'm, I'm just saying, don't touch me. I'll I'm to not going to touch you. Like I was just. You understand Anyone why I did it, right? Just don't talk to me. Do you understand why I did it? No, no, no. That's how I roll. Do you understand why I did it? Do I get it? No, no, no. Do you understand that? Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Was you me? Don't talk to me, mate. Just saying. Just saying. Do you understand? I can talk. I don't need that shit, mate. Personal space, mate. Like, I'm a wire. That's how I work, mate. That's how I work. You know what it is. That's how I work. Just saying. It was just the vibe. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Right, mate. It really was. I've been this day to fag now, mate. Okay. We're off. Just so you know, I just wanted to come and talk to you face to face so you understood what I was saying. I don't care. Like, anyone who with me, just don't talk to me for the whole duration I'm here. It's as straightforward as that. Oh, mate, I think you're taking a bit personal. No, this is brutal as that. You've right, me, just right. don't talk to me. Does it work both ways? Yeah. That's, do that's what I do. That's what I do. Do you promise? Just saying. I love you as a person. You know I do. No, no, you no, scared no, the shit out of me false. the other day. You knew that. very false. You knew don't that. Don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. You knew that. I but took I don't to your face hear and it. I told you that you made me so fucking uncomfortable the other day. Well, do you know what? I feel honoured. So you feel honoured? You see me as a threat. I, I don't know why everybody's kissing his ass, scared, going over there trying to shake his hand. Because they're afraid of him. They're afraid of him what? They're afraid of what he's going to do all fucking week. Oh, well, he's already makes our life miserable. Why is everybody so fucking scared of him? I'm I don't seeing know. who's running over there and kissing his ass, and it's crazy. I just think people jump on a bandwagon with certain people, and I think if you get treated more for going at the environment you're in. I didn't jump on any bandwagon. No, I don't want to hear it, babe. I didn't. Okay. You said to me okay. on day okay. one right, that you are in here to have some fun and play some games, and that's it. I didn't want to even nominate anyone. So, when this is getting opened or not? <laughs> like, it's I just it's a so cigarette, unfair. Like, I mean, like, well, that's a fucking bag. But as you know, it's a game. Oh, yeah. I don't think that's a bad thing. You know I, that think, I, really, I think you've done it because of it, but also other people as well. I ain't a bad thing. I'm not on any bandwagon there. You think I did it because of a bad thing? I think you're the last to the end, I think, pick the easy target out. Boom! Do you know what I mean? Don't upset us much opinions. I don't know that this is necessarily even a bad thing. Who knows? It's not a bad thing, Bear. It's not. Good. That's a fucking eventful night, wasn't it? Fruitful. Coming up, Aubrey. Tells it straight. I really hate asshole bear 
there's just no compassion, depth, understanding, intellect, um, like basic human kindness in that man. Be prepared for highly offensive language. Ten fifty three PM. Katie and Bear are talking about her eternal nomination of Bear. I want to make for awkward, babe. I ain't about that. Whoa. Okay. Listen, That's just me. this I totally understand it. Yeah. This is the, like the worst experience of my life. Like in this. Okay. The, uh, like I, I'm straight up fucking honest. I love having you around. I've said this to both of these no, two as well. You're lying. How, how can, I'm not lying. How, how, how I'm not you, fucking lying. You, 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 you said to me you're that you're lying. You how can you rather have no, you be around than being around? Exactly. You said to me. You said to me on day one that you wanted to play. You wanted to have fun with this, and that's what I gave to you. What you wanted. You wanted to have fun. I'm not going to suffer all the small talk now. And do you know what I mean? That's just me. James is in the diary room talking to Big Brother. The public chose to save you over saving Grant. How does that feel? Great. I mean, on one, on one, one hand, I, I'm packed. I was ready to go. Um, I was going to see uh, the family. I was looking forward to that. And on the other hand, to be the first to leave, well, nobody really wants to be the first to leave, do they? But, of course, what a lot of the younger people don't realise, um, and some of the middle-aged uh, people who think that they're young, no names, no patrol, but I'm sure everybody can see, what they don't realise is it's the quieter ones you have to watch. Katie is talking to Marnie about the bear situation. It kills me, the fact that anyone would... I think that I was being fake or a certain type of way no. or I'm or I'm going into different groups. I'm like the no. complete opposite. Don't let anyone get you in here. You know deep down that you haven't done anything wrong, okay? Yeah. Oh, it, it's a horrible, horrible, horrible game. And I, like I, I found it awful. And I never I didn't think I would, and I found it even I just I thought it was horrendous. There was like no ill intent behind it. It wasn't like fuck this and fuck that. It was just he said to me from day one. I want to play this game. Uh, deep down, he and knows. And he can take that. Uh-huh, deep down, he knows. He, he knows he can do it. Look, by the way that he's going on, he, he can take it better than us. He said it. Yeah, okay. well, just... Just, just compose. Fucking, it's fucking horrible. You're fine. Eleven or five p.m. Lewis is reassuring Frankie. Um, listen, just want to just say, I feel like I've, I've told said this bear as well. When I'm standing there and he's a bit irate, yeah, and obviously he was talking to you on the sofa and I'm standing behind him and I realised that, like, I don't want you, I, I'm, I'm there in case, yeah? Oh. All right? I'm not there. Like, obviously he's my boy and anyone who's voted against him, obviously I feel, I feel some type of way about, you know, how you guys say it. But I'm not saying that he would, but I was saying just in case he right. was right in the moment. No, I you know. wanted to, You wanted to get your point across, so you was just in the moment. Right? He wasn't I, in I was receiving there, mood, I was there just in case. And I've, been, and I've, okay. listen, thank you. Right? Oh, just in case to break it up? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh. Yeah. And I, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm, I, listen, I ain't trying to win friends in here. I've got enough already, do yeah. you know what I mean? But what I'm trying to say is... Okay, that's not true, I'm, <laughs> I'm the physically, like, most... I'm the most physical. I'm, I'm, You're I'm the, the biggest I'm boy the, in the I'm house. The, I'm the fittest, strongest geezer in here now. And if, the, if there is an argument that even is nothing to do with me, I'm going to be standing right. there just in case. Right. That's all I'm trying to yeah. say. That's not, that's that's not right. Bear and Chloe are getting cosy. Yeah, well, I do like you. I like you as well. Just put it like that, so. It was nice last night, wasn't it? Yeah. Could have got a whole lot worse, though. Imagine if it happened, I'd been, I wouldn't do it anymore. I'm not there. Maybe the shower, not gonna lie, but who knows? One <laughs> night. Sick. But do you know what I mean? Like, sleeping time... next door to me now, right? Yeah. Can I have a cuddle tonight? Because all the drama I've been through, I think I deserve a cuddle. Yeah, you do. Can I have a cuddle in bed tonight? Yeah. Yeah? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Katie is in the diary room talking to Big Brother. I think that the events this evening um, with having to write somebody's name down and, and and say something out loud and somebody not listening or understanding your reasons behind that. I'm just not... Um, a bad person, and 
I would, it just kills me to think that anyone would think any differently. <laughs> um, you know, I went through enough shit six years ago with that. And I deal with issues in my own way. If I have a problem with somebody, I'll say something and I genuinely just don't. And the reason why I put his name up is because he said to me from day one that that's, he wants to play a game. And I just don't want anyone to think that like, I have ill intentions. And I just, it hurts my heart that that would, that um, people would think any differently of me when I give truth. Because it, it's a big deal for me to come in here and be that, and do this. Eleven thirty-one p.m. Bear is in the diary room talking to Big Brother. Ta-da! Hello. Bear, can you take your mask off? You having a good night? How are we doing? Bear, you've been damned with eternal nomination. How are you doing? Uh, do you know what? It just keeps getting better and better. Now, nah, I've got, like, a red thing on me. Don't know what it means, but I think it's a good thing. And I'll be honest with you, I've had a touch. At least I stand out. I'm a show-off. Hey! Ricky is comforting Kitty. He'll only jab you if he thinks he can hurt you. Yeah. Well, let him give me his best fucking shot. Well, that's what I'm fucking saying, baby. That's what I'm saying. You get that fucking shit in your stomach now. Don't let him see you fucking cry. Are you fucking kidding me? Look how much power you're giving him. Do you understand what I'm saying? I'm not having... I'm never no way. This is not fucking primary school. This is not secondary school. I do not have to back down from the way I feel. I do not. If you don't want to talk to, if you're like that, whoever voted for me don't talk to me, that makes my life easier. Because now I don't have to converse with you. Now I don't have to give you bullshit chat. I'm happy. I'll sit there and smoke a cigarette and not speak to you. I'm happy. You know how we shut down, innit? You know how we shut down? Taurus, you know how we shut down? Yeah. Shut down. Shut fucking down. Shut down. Rene is angry with Bear about the way he nominated Aubrey. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a good night, innit? What are you upset for? Because I don't like what the fuck you did. What did I do now? You want to pick somebody's name, that's okay, but you want to draw pictures, that's, that's, you, I understand a line was crossed earlier, but that's a respect thing for well, a female. Well, I think, well, me personally, Just I reckon she poisons minds in him. What that's happened? my opinion, she poisons people's minds. She, if behind she poisons closed, people's behind minds. Behind closed doors. I don't know who she talks to and poisons anybody's mind. You can't I, poison I've my mind. I've heard mice. things. How, I'm sure you have heard yeah. things, honey, because they've yeah. allowed you to fucking hear things. Yeah. No, no, okay, I, if they want to play the game fucking fair, they'll let someone everybody... Someone angry. Whoa, it's not you I'm up, not babe. Angry, Whoa, but you look angry. You know Whoa. Okay. It's not it's, you up, babe. Excuse me. Oh, and I'm just saying, it's not you up, it's me. If they wanted to play the game fairly, yeah. they would let everybody hear what everybody has to say about each other. Yeah. Not just one person. I'm the same so people. When you want to say... I reckon that was a good choice I did. Okay. It's not well, being horrible, but I reckon no, it's a very good choice. In your opinion, okay, you, in my you opinion, had it's the a right... Wicked choice. It was fine you to choose who you wanted to choose. However, them. my problem is no. not with what who you cho who you chose, it's the picture you drew. Yeah, I think That's it's a the dick. problem for me. <laughs> That's not polite. That's not respectful to a woman, Bear. Like, where we come from, that's a... Oh, don't give me the spill, babe, honestly. Don't give you the spill? It's the spill, like, the I don't spill need to is hear like, it. No, that's a I respect oh, thing. Is it open? Okay, so then you can get up and walk. But I'm going to say how yeah. I feel, and that's... I like, no, but I enjoy if it. You would, okay, I enjoy you it. you enjoy it? Yeah, I, I would do. prefer that you don't... That That's extremely... Okay, well, I've heard it, please. and I've noted it. Okay, please. look, listen, Aubrey, if you was offended, or you, with the willy sign... I didn't mean it. I thought it was funny. Like, that's okay. me. Okay, all right. All right. Sorry, Fine. Well. You thought it was funny. I'm just letting you know. Maybe, so I think she maybe, can do it. Maybe I'll I got my here, teeth maybe, then. Okay, I made a joke of it. Like, that's, okay. that's a dickish move. Okay, like, maybe it is. here. Maybe here it's not offensive. Okay, I don't know. Okay, let me just. Let me I'm sorry. It, it right. does because at back at home. Okay. Listen to me. Listen, Nobody be listen, fucking walking right I get after cold, that word. Like, I get bloody cold. Worst things in here. Yes, we cold. I know. Thank you. There was an apology that needed to be given to you. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm gonna fucking say I don't like that word. I find that offensive. That's what I find offensive. 
Everybody can pick whoever the fuck they want, but you're not gonna fucking, you're not gonna call her, you're not gonna call you a name like that. Sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. You're just not. <laughs> I don't fucking care. I, I do. From that I, I guy, don't. But... I know, but that is to no, me. I get it. I get it. That is some real fucking you're like. Fucking if anybody calls, like, it's like saying you're a cunt. I would expect that from him too. Eleven forty-six p.m. Aubrey has a question for Syra. How come you don't roll bear to me? Because I've got to know him. There's part of me, and this is going to sound really weird, a part of me that believes that through this experience, actually, he is the person that probably could learn the most about his personal development. So I know you might laugh. I know you might laugh at that. I know, you know, I know he thought he was an I'm hysterical asshole. Laughing. Like, I think he's an asshole. We've had conversations about that. Yeah, I tell him he's an asshole. But the thing is, also, from a TV point of view, I do think he's entertaining. I find him more entertaining than Heavy D. Heavy D gets on my nerves. I find him dull. I find him boring. I find him really annoying. Hey, okay, Heavy. I'm confused. Totally confused. And I'm just going to be honest because yeah, I can't yeah. help it. Yesterday, you wanted Bear out of this house because of the glass. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I did not. Syra, okay. but you said you came in the room and said how he was violent. A lot of people said that, that you thought That's from true. the very beginning that he would hit somebody. Hold yeah, on, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. What but he did yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What from yesterday? I can't. You still today? <laughs> yesterday, you did believe he was capable of, of doing worse. Every one of us heard it. Oh, well, that's absolutely fine. I know, but I, but I, I don't. I don't. I did not think that he, he was. He is capable. I don't believe he's capable of hitting another person. I don't believe that. But you said it, that well, you did believe it. Well, perhaps I believed it, whatever I said, but I, don't believe, I, mean. but you... I don't believe okay. he is. So perhaps that's yesterday you believed wrong. it, today you don't believe it anymore. No, it's not that I don't believe it. I think that he is, I think he's got anger issues. There's no doubt about it, but anger issues don't, don't, you know, they don't frighten me. Sarah. But the, hold on, Dee. Who do you vote for? I voted for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, was a I know he's done some stupid night, stuff. He's a prick of an idiot. But I think we should give him a second chance, because I believe give everybody a second chance. OK. Ricky and Katie are in the storeroom. Baby, don't worry do, 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 about a thing. Do, 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 do. Every little thing is going to be all right. See that? That's beautiful. All right. Let's get there. Lift your heart. Aubrey has come to talk to Big Brother. Hello, Aubrey. Can I just go on a rant? Of course. OK. <sighs> I really hate asshole bear. Like, there's just no compassion, depth, understanding, intellect, um, like basic human kindness in that man. And really all I see is like flashbacks of being in middle school, high school, and having this bully that controls the school and they control it out of fear because everybody's scared that they'll be attacked by him next and his mouth is nasty and it's lethal and it goes hard and it stings and everybody's scared to have that wrath turned on them. So they're like scattering away when he's around and they're fearing him when he pipes up and then they're like running to him either to say like you know like kiss his ass after they voted for him or not vote for him when all everyone in this house has talked about is what an asshole bear is heavy d over bear anybody that picked heavy d nonsense playing a game bro heavy d is his own set of interesting but he is nowhere near the caliber of Bear and, and what an asshole he is. I just am, like, so turned off by all the fakeness. I don't know why everyone can't just say what the fuck they feel behind the dude's back, which is that he's a disease and he needs to get out of this house, period. She doesn't mince her words. Charting some famous financial falls from grace. Meet the stars bankrupt and broke in When Celebs Go Bust tomorrow at 10. Next, Impractical Jokers UK.